Hello people, I'm the Rokonk Gamer, and today I decided, you know, it's a good time to talk about Batman. Because I've gotten some questions in the comments from you guys, and statements and things, just a bunch of different topics for Batman and my thoughts on Batman and everything. Uh, so a while ago, I did my top 10 favorite superheroes of all time, and on that list I had Batman at number 10. Shocked a whole lot of people, especially because I had Hawkeye higher, and I saw a good amount of comments saying, You like Hawkeye better than Batman? How dare you? You must not like Batman very much, and stuff like that, stuff along those lines. So, first, let's address the whole Batman's number 10 on your top 10 favorite characters. What? That's blasphemy. Batman has some of the best stories in all of comics. His stories are amazing, simply because he's one of the most popular characters in comics. So, DC's like, huh, this guy sells the best, so why don't we put the best writers on him? They do that, they put the best writers on him, that gets more people even more interested in Batman, because, hey, people are drawn to the fact that he's Batman. Then once they read a story, they're like, hey, not only is he Batman, but his stories are actually pretty darn good as well. Let's keep reading it. And then they recommend to their friends and everything, and it works and it's good for sales and so that's why Batman has some of the best stories as a character I like Batman I think he's a great character I think he works really well he's this guy that took a very bad tragic moment the most tragic moment in his entire life and turned it into this sort of fuel this stuff that just makes him that motivates him to do what he does every day to do stuff that no human could ever do because it's so strenuous on your body and stress and everything which just really just would drive a normal person crazy some could argue that Batman is crazy sort of is but that's another draw to his character the fact that he's sort of a crazy billionaire that uh, runs around a bat suit and beats guys up but it's for all the right reasons generally and so yeah he's a very interesting character but I prefer Hawkeye the reason being is the fact that while Batman is this very force of nature type person that I can never even hope to achieve um, he does have some relatable elements of the fact that when his parents died and everything like that the fact that he has struggles and he has to overcome them but Hawkeye is just a guy surrounded by gods when he's on the Avengers. You have Thor and Hulk there, and then you have Hawkeye that's just a dude with a bow and arrow. And he can say some funny stuff. Like, Hawkeye is just a guy, and Matt Fraction really highlighted that with his run on Hawkeye. It's uh, unanimously the best run on Hawkeye ever. Like, he just nails the character of Hawkeye, but there have been some other great Hawkeye stories, like Blind Spot, where he dealt with his brother coming back, and stuff like that. But anyways, uh, yeah, Hawkeye as a character, uh, I like better than Batman. Batman's stories are, majority of the time, way better than Hawkeye's. Just blow them out of the water. But Hawkeye as a character, just ground level, just, just taking the character. Like, if you're just looking at the character, not the stories, putting the stories aside and everything, just the character, I like the character of Hawkeye better. He's more interesting to me. He's someone that I have more fun reading about that character, not the stories, again. I know it's kind of weird to say that, but I like the character of Hawkeye better. I find him more interesting, and I really enjoy reading Hawkeye for the person that he is. That's something that's really interesting about um, about the Hawkeye book by Matt Fraction. It is very character-driven. It's it's sort of like comparing um, uh, Avatar The Last Airbender to The Legend of Korra. If you guys are fans of The Last Airbender universe, I don't know. I'm, I'm a big fan. I watched all the series and everything. Uh... Avatar The Last Airbender, huge, like, character-driven show. Very, because, like, not until, like, the last couple episodes or, like, the first couple episodes of each season would there be a whole lot of story going on. It's basically, like, hey, we're being chased by the Fire Nation. I'm not knocking it. The show's amazing. But what I'm saying is, it's like, hey, the Fire Nation is chasing us. We just gotta go. This will lead us to going into, like, crazy situations and going to new places and everything. And then story would happen occasionally. And, uh, yeah, but along the way, it was basically just character moments, character development, tons of character. Legend of Korra was just story like constantly story you had some character stuff I mean I like Legend of Korra as well it's not near as good as Last Airbender and the last season sucked but it was very much story 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 and to where uh, Avatar Last Airbender which I preferred had was just pretty much character and then you had stories sprinkled throughout. And to me, that's how I feel with Batman and Hawkeye. Batman, great character, but mostly what I love about him is his stories. He's got some amazing stories. He's got some of the best villains in all his comics. Again, he is a great character, like his character, but I prefer the character of Hawkeye. Character, uh, well, Hawkeye himself doesn't have as good of stories as Batman for the most part, but the character of Hawkeye is so interesting and so cool and so relatable. And the fact that, again, he's just this normal guy. He's got this normal apartment. He's got a dog. He's It's it's really cool. He's got ex-girlfriends he has to deal with. He's just all these different things. And yeah, just I, pr I prefer Hawkeye to Batman, but is that saying that, oh, Hawkeye is a better character than Batman? No, that's just my personal preference. I like Hawkeye better than Batman. I think 
they're both great characters, but at the end of the day, if I had to read a character purely based on their character and not the story surrounding them, I would go with Hawkeye. So yeah, that's basically my explanation for why I had those nine other people ranked above Batman. It's because Batman has better stories than the majority of those nine people on that list. But those nine people are much more interesting characters to me. I much prefer those characters and the way they act and who they are and everything to Batman. Again, I really like the character of Batman. Also, being number 10 when, on a list when there are hundreds of comic book heroes, I think is pretty good. I'm just going to say that being number 10 is nothing to be like, oh, how dare you put Batman at number 10? Like, there are hundreds of comic book heroes for me to choose from, and I put Batman at number 10. So, yeah, I wouldn't say that's too shabby. But yeah, that's why Batman is not my favorite character. Uh, he is one of my favorites. He's a great character. I really enjoy reading him. And uh, again, some of the best stories in all of comics. That's why he's got, like, out of my comic collection, uh, he's probably, like, the second most comics that I've got, Superman being number one, and then probably Batman. It's, it's, it's a close second between Batman and Wolverine, who I have more comics of. It's close. Um, but yeah, uh, I own a ton of Batman comics, more than most of the other characters on that list. So yeah, uh, really really think Batman's a great character, he's really interesting, but there are a lot of characters that interest me more and that I prefer, but I still like Batman, so yeah, there you go, hope you guys enjoyed the video, please let me know in the comments below, is Batman your favorite hero or not, or where does he rank on your top 10 list, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, I'll see you guys in the next one.